Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the H Talks Comics, Films and Combat Sports. I want to talk a little bit about Donny Nietes. Hopefully I pronounced the name right. Donny Nietes. So basically I think he must be the best fighter which almost no one including hardcore boxing fans actually know. So Donny is um, a 37 year old Filipino male. He's got decent punch power, great boxing skills. Um, and he is, I think, he is the current reigning defending, let me get this right, I want to say light bantamweight. Is it light bantamweight or junior bantamweight? Might be junior bantamweight, uh, unified champion. I think it's junior bantamweight. I'm trying to think what weight it is. Be very short, five foot three. It's five foot three, and it might be 52, 52, 53 kg. That's why not many people really know about him. He's such a lightweight, and he started at minimum weight, and then he went to, I believe, I might get the order wrong, sorry, flyweight, and then it might have been light bantam weight to junior bantam weight. But he started at minimum weight, which is literally the smallest you can get. I think it's like eight stone. Might be even just less than eight stone, but yeah, he literally beat the young Japanese star. Um, I'm gonna pronounce his name wrong as well. I want to say it's Yota, 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 Kazuchi, Kazuchi King Yota, I believe. He beat him in December 2018, so he hasn't fought in it's almost June, so about yeah, six and a half months. He hasn't fought in six and a half months. Also, I don't know why, this guy's 37, he only had one loss, which was a few years ago. He did have a draw before he went against Yota, he had a draw, but he hasn't lost for a good few many years. He's only three years younger than, than the legendary Manny Pacquiao. I don't really know why um, no one's really speaking about the guy. He's top 10, pound for pound, by Ring Magazine, the prestigious and prestigious. I think I said prodigious, the prodigious and prestigious Ring Magazine. He's number 10 in their pound for pound rankings, which is a big, big thing. But no one seems to know about him, Donny Nietes. I don't know why the reason it, for that is. I don't know if it's because he's such a small weight, let's be honest. That's, I'm walking around right now about 12 and a half. So to think, what's 53? I'm at 79, 80 right now. So he's about almost 30. Yeah, so that's, that's actually huge. Almost 30 kg less than me. And so I'm 5'9", so he's about, what's 5'3", five, what's five, I don't know, 5'3", he's like, something like that, maybe? He's really, he's, yeah, really quite short, to be honest. I think Mighty Mouse Johnson's 5'4", or 5'3", like 5'3", 52kg. So I think that could be the reason why, because even though Manny Pacquiao started off at like bantamweight, or junior bantamweight, he went all the way up to welterweight. And Manny Pacquiao's what, 5'7", max 5'6", five, 5'7", five, but he had held his power, and obviously he grew as well, not in height, but physically. Um, like one of my favourite guys, you guys know already, Inoue. I love Inoue, I love his power. I think Inoue can go up a few more weights. Um, maybe it's lightweight. I think, yeah, I think he gets lightweight, Inoue. Um, but now, nah, I, I don't know why, man. Um, yeah, Nieta doesn't seem to be getting any love. No one seems to really know his name or anything. But I just thought I'd do a quick video seeing do you guys know about him? Um, is there any Filipino fans out here? What do you guys think about him? He was obviously 37. Has he missed his chance? Is it marketing's fault? Is it his promoter's fault? Is it because people don't want to watch fighters of that small weight and small height? Is it because the boxing community don't appreciate it? Is it because the casuals don't appreciate it? How is this guy, Donny Nieta's number 10 in the Ring Magazine, pound for pound? He's only lost one fight, yet he's not a big name. And even the hardcore, hardcore boxing fans haven't mentioned him. As far as I'm aware, I'm can't, I don't think boxing talks with Ade. I love Ade, he's one of my favourite guys online. If you don't subscribe, I'm sure you do already. You can go subscribe, he's, he's a beast. But he never mentions him, I don't think he's ever mentioned him. Um, and the other one I like is G Man Boxing. G Man Boxing has got some good knowledge as well. Those two guys, they're the two who I go for, go for for like unbiased because, like, you know, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but the, all the other guys are a bit biased. They're a bit up the um, bum of Matchroom or up the bum of PBC, or up the bum of top rank, do you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, don't be biased, it's all been said. But those two are really good. Uh, I think in general, boxing talk with Ade, he's a really good guy, and G-Man, really good guys. But even they don't talk about Nietzsche, no one talks about Nietzsche. So I thought I'd do a video, talk about something which is obviously um, not really spoken about. 
to see if there's any fans out there and if so let me know why do you think he doesn't have the platform why doesn't he have what's the word he doesn't have the profile that's what i'm looking for why doesn't he have the profile let me know guys thank you